Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christine and today I've actually got some little helpers with me. I don't know if you can see them or not, but here's helper number one <laughs> and here's helper number two. Hello guys. They can't see you very well because they're getting haircuts next week, but they're my good helpers. Anyway, today we are going to be making over a hutch for a friend of mine in the prettiest blue. Um, in fact, it's such a popular blue. I know of two brands that actually carry almost the identical same color if you're interested. So let's get started. Ready? of mine got this hutch armoire and asked if I could recreate a look that I did in my own home recently and I'll upload that really soon but this hutch is very sturdy it's got that dark glass which I feel really outdates it so we'll get rid of that and we'll do something very fun and fresh but first things first we need to clean it really well take off all the hardware, scuff sand it, so we can get ready for painting. You can see this hutch was really filthy and the hardware on it looks really dull at this point so we need to paint it get it updated so that it pops a little bit more scuff sanding with a 220 sandpaper. I don't need to really get down to the wood grain because I'm not going to be staining it. I'll be painting it with chalk paint. So I just need to scuff it lightly so that the paint has something to adhere to. I'm using a sponge roller brush because she's going to be displaying some items inside. So I want a really smooth, buttery finish, and I feel like a sponge roller brush will give me that. I could always tape it off, but instead I'm going to just use a small artist brush for getting around all those hinges and all those nooks and crannies. I just want this to have a really polished finish, so I'll use that artist brush as well. color linen white chalk paint that I've used on other projects before. I want whatever items that she's going to display to have that really clean, crisp white background. I did not need to use a primer because chalk paint has really great coverage, but I did use 
three full coats in order to get that really bright white and it has that smooth, chalky, buttery finish. Let's get started on these doors. I want to remove all the hinges and then you can see the glass is held in with this rubbery piping. I actually wanna save that so that when we put in our new door fronts, we can reinstall it and it will have a tight, clean finish. But I will be getting rid of these dark, dated glass pieces. These doors already look 100% better without that dark glass. This piece actually came with these two inserts, which is awesome. The hutch itself is solid wood, but these two pieces are probably a particle board, but that's perfect because we're going to paint them anyway. And they're already cut to size, so we just need to paint them and reinstall them. I'm using bare chalk paint today and the color is called gingham, which is almost identical to Annie Sloan Decade Blue. It's just such a beautiful, brilliant blue. I absolutely love this color, and it's honestly one of my favorites. I'm really impressed with this bare chalk paint. I feel like it has great coverage even on the first coat. I'll definitely still do two coats, but it just goes on really smooth. I'm used to using Annie Sloan, but unfortunately the store that I purchased it from has closed down and I haven't been able to find anyone else here in town that supplies it. I'd like to also try a few other brands I've heard of Dixie Bell, and I know there's a few others that I'd love to try out, but I'll definitely use this bare paint again in the future. I just have been really impressed by it, and they have a lot of great colors too.
For my second coat of paint, I just have a cup of water nearby so that I can dip my brush into it and keep my brush nice and wet and moist. That just allows the paint to thin down a little bit and then it gives a nice smooth finish. Texture projects are really fun too, but for this project, I just wanna have a really smooth finish. I could also use a water spray bottle, just whatever's easier for you. We're going to be doing something kind of fun for our upper doors, but first I hope it's okay that I wanted to share a little bit of some beautiful scenery from one of our last trips. I hope it gets all those good endorphins pumping for your day, and I hope you find it truly as beautiful as I did. The colors are just spectacular. Okay, for the upper doors, I'm going to use chicken wire, actual chicken wire, and I'll cut this down to size, and then I'll paint the front and the back with a metallic gold paint. It's just a Ralph Lauren gold paint that I've had left over, and you could use craft store acrylic paint or gilding wax, any of those would work. I'll also freshen up the hardware with the same metallic paint and then I'll give it a lacquer spray just so it has some good protection. And it just makes this piece look super cute. Still need to kind of form this chicken wire so that it's tight and straight. You can see it's still got some bends in it from being rolled up. So as I put it down on the inside of the door, I'll just staple gun it into place and I'll kind of shape it as I'm putting it in. And then after I staple gun it into place, I'll reattach that rubber piping just so that there's a smooth finish on the edges and there's no sharp corners.
And now to finish this piece off, I love putting all the doors back together. I'll give it a coat of clear wax on the inside and outside for further protection and then reattach all the hardware for the finished product. And that's it. I love how this piece turned out. It's just so cute. I hope my friend enjoys displaying all her fun pieces inside. And I thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new, please subscribe, hit the bell, all that fun stuff, so that hopefully you can join me back here for future projects. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself an awesome day. And I hope to see you back here real soon.